guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Barbell Brigade Talk Show. Today we got Nick and we got Dr. Mike Isratel. And this is a, um, like a topic that I am personally confused on a little bit, where um, I think to a lot of people, TRT sounds like gear, but then I also hear a lot of people say when they get off gear, they go on TRT. What's the difference? Yeah, you bet. So TRT is testosterone replacement therapy. It's also called HRT, hormone replacement therapy, but yeah. technically HRT can be estrogen replacement as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't need that shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't need here, feelings. Uh, <laughs> Stay. Test out here, baby. So in any case, um, testosterone replacement therapy is exactly what it sounds like. It is replacing what your body could naturally produce on its own. And thus, it's not something you should be interested in taking unless you have two things. One, a combination of sort of two things. One is diagnosed what's called hypogonadism, which is you just, your nuts just don't produce enough um, testosterone. Can you imagine if you were diagnosed with hypogonadism in middle school when people find out? Like, people it literally out. means, oh. like, in Latin, it means, like, your nuts are too small. But that sucks. I might have that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, I explained so much in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Do have women like skin. Thank you. Your skin is unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you, but I That's just, it's kind of like you're just a bit above the Asian standard of skin. Dude, I'm so just I'm just flattered. Every day, be thankful you're not white and your skin doesn't look like you're 90 years old all the fuck. <laughs> white, white people are born dying and they just die. Like, this, they just decay their entire life. Some my, people want that yeah, look, though. My wife yeah. is Asian and she just turned 40 and, like, nobody believes her that she's 40. Like, get out yeah, of she here. Yeah, 40. Bullshit. No way. In any case, <laughs> so... One is preferably you need to be diagnosed that you're underproducing testosterone. What, so what's like a regular or so, average yeah, test Yeah, nanograms levels? per deciliter. It's like um, 300 to 900 or 300 to 1,000 reference range. And so you could be 1,000 and that could still be considered average? Uh, normal. Oh, it's oh, considered oh, normal oh, in the normal wow. range. And then under 300 is considered like checklist for diagnostic criteria of like you're a candidate for HRT or TRT. But that's not the only thing because there is a, a lurking variable there where how sensitive is your body to androgens, to testosterone. Because testosterone doesn't actually do anything, it's just a messenger molecule that tells other parts of your body. Like for me, it's like grow your body hair like crazy and lose all the hair on your head. <laughs> and have <laughs> dreams that are bad. In any case, <laughs> oh muscles, that's fine too. So. Some people are very sensitive genetically to androgens, so they'll come to the doctor and for probably no reason at all, they'll be like, oh, like, you know, what's my test level? And be like, oh, it's 250, right? But then they go through a checklist of like, how are you feeling and doing? Because to be a candidate for TRT, you have to actually have symptoms of chronically low testosterone that are giving you a hard time. You know, so like one of them is, um, uh, a reduced sex drive or impotence where like you just can't get erections and sometimes those oftentimes go hand in hand so you're neither interested in sex nor are you getting boners a lot yeah. which is actually kind of kind of sweet i wish that was my problem you can stay focused on things you know what i'm saying you yeah. can like, fucking take over the world you get shit done fuck yeah elon musk not that i'm saying he's impotent anything but um <laughs> i'm gonna get canceled for that right no sweet. he doesn't cancel people That's no he doesn't that. he's a nice guy so, <laughs> LOL, just nukes my house. <laughs> Starlink satellite crashes into my shit, into my gym. I'm like, no! <laughs> that would truly be a disaster. Or he might hit you up for PT, because he's like, I don't look like that guy. Yeah, like, like that. <laughs> Although Jeff Bezos has recently gotten real fucking yeah, jacked. He got fit. I think he's gone some little bit. Ever since the divorce, baby, yeah, he's dude. like, I'm out here smashing it. <laughs> um, he's probably sub 1,000 and was like, yo, oh, he's like, doc, listen, I'm like, whatever I, whatever I say I am, that's what I am. So, um, Low sex drive, uh, a decreased uh, positive mood, you just, just uh, like slumped over, um, poor sleep, uh, decreased motivation to train and do normal things. Uh, there's a bunch of other symptoms that you can have that are low testosterone mediated. Um, and if you have both the low levels and the symptoms, you are a good candidate and the average doctor who specializes in it will absolutely prescribe you testosterone and it'll fix your ass right up, right? It'll, wow. everything that is, because, oh yeah, really I've good. seen people get on TRT and it just changes them completely. It just makes them better because they were insufficiently dosed by their own nuts yeah. and now voila, it's a, it's a what, what is the, what is like a prescribed TRT like amount? So, <laughs> that's a good question. Traditionally, it's not very high. And it brings you up to replacement levels, uh, which means like nanograms per deciliter is, you know, anywhere between 300 and 500. 
sometimes closer to like 300. I'll just get you right up that minimum amount and I'll just let you cook, which is totally fine. Nowadays, um, there are lots of TRT clinics that are legal, but they're doing things that are, mm, mm, I, I'm a libertarian politically, so I think it's all fucking gravy. They're doing things that many people have described as like medically questionable as far as ethics, which is like, they're technically TRT clinics, but they'll give you double or triple the normal amount. And where do I find them? You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly? list, uh, more plates, more dates, and <laughs> whatever. I think that's what he does for a job. So, um, but like, you know, they'll cook you up to like 1,000, 1,200, and then you'll feel more of the positives and potentially more of the negatives. Mm. The real thing with uh, testosterone replacement is, uh, is, first of all, have a need for it. Because like I talk to guys all the time, they get their levels checked, they're like, I'm at 700. And I'm like, okay, do you get boners? They're like, all the time, bro. And I'm, <laughs> so you told me you were thinking about TRT. They're like, yeah, I'm like, stop thinking about TRT. It's just not gonna do anything for you. It's gonna take what your nuts do for free mm. and make you do it twice a week with a fucking needle. Oh. And you have to travel with it and shit if you go on yeah. vacation, fuck all that, right? I see. And it's annoying, the sights swell up, it's stupid as fuck. But if you have a distinct need, then TRT makes a ton of sense. And then what you wanna do is stay in contact with your doctor, start at a certain small dose, see how you feel, and then titrate up or down based upon how you react to it and where you wanna be. And that's kind of the right way to do it. There's plenty of people doing it wrong. A lot of people think TRT is like, I'm gonna get on TRT and get fucking jacked. But like, you're not gonna get jacked on replacement levels, idiot. Like if you're not- What about, what about Vitor Balfour? Yeah, 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 what about those guys? Just, yeah. Brazilian TRT? <laughs> <laughs> he was sure. like orange, dude, he yeah. turned orange. Like, oh, so your replacement levels, are, we're replacing 5,000 nanograms? Or yeah, five to 10,000, sure. Sounds about right. Like, yeah, I have a trend deficiency. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so there's definitely guys that say they're on TRT and they're not, um, which is pretty common. And then there's people, I guess my main point is I want to dissuade people who have no clear symptoms of androgen deficiency and no medical, like no reference values that say they're low. I want them to not want TRT. Um, I guess it's kind of like if you're looking to get a fucking race car. And, and then someone's like, here's a Nissan Sentra. And you're like, yes. And you're like, hey, should I get a Nissan Sentra? I want to go fast. We're like, no, idiot. Like, <laughs> that's slower than the car you have now. Like, but it's new. <laughs> that's the equivalent of wanting TRT when you just don't have any need for it. But if you have a need for it, so like what you mentioned earlier, a lot of guys come off of gear after they're bodybuilding or powerlifting and then they go on TRT. That's because their nuts don't fucking work anymore. Oh. Yeah, or they just don't want to go through the painful process of shutting everything down, having the nuts kind of climb back up to be productive again. Another thing is, uh, a lot of TRT candidates are people who are aging, and the aging male, maybe half of all men, uh, at some point in their life, be it the 40s, 50s, 60s, or 70s, their testosterone production declines precipitously. And then at that point, going up to TRT to get you back into the testosterone levels you had when you were like in your 30s, it actually is a, probably a net benefit for your health and certainly a net benefit for your quality of life. Like you get that, you know, my shit, you know what I'm saying? Well, you guys are 20s or whatever. How old are you Asian? You people don't age anyway. I'm 30, I'm 38 this year. 38, we're the same age. Yeah. I'm 84, how about you? You're the rat? Yeah. Oh, no way. I'm 29. Yeah. So like. But me and him look the same because I'm Asian probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a whole lot of other jokes that I was just going to say because I was straight up no. We're in, we're on on, dude, it's fine. Him. We're giving you the pass. It was just like the generic, like, all Asians look the same. <laughs> I mean, that's the truth, actually. It's just not, that's people not true People mistake us all. all the time. Get out of here. People Those are think, racist. They think, people think I'm Charlie. Yeah. People think I'm Charlie. They're like, dude, what are you, like, are you like 260? I'm like. Those people are like myopic children. Like, like can no. you tell object sizes apart? No, like, no is this a car or a truck? They're like, they're both a car. Like, wrong. When we stand you next to each other, we look pretty big, you know? Like, That's what's up. The oh, the two of you combined. They're like, is that one, Charlie? Yeah, like, yes. Yes. On shoulders. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So would you consider if someone um, who's in the normal test range, if they got TRT, would that be like, then they're technically on steroids because they don't really need it? And that they're in like the steroid range now? You're technically on steroids. Right, because you don't, you're not bringing up a deficiency, you're just, you're like performance enhancing. Well, you're not performance enhancing. You're technically on steroids, but your nuts within a few weeks stop producing testosterone and the amount you're injecting stays the same. So you're injecting so, for no so You're injecting for just literally the, the, the amount your nuts used to make. Yeah. So it's stupid as fuck. But you're technically on steroids because you're injecting exogenous androgens. Yeah. So if you tried to, 
pass a, an IOC drug test, yeah. you would fail because you, when your nuts make testosterone, they make testosterone epitestosterone, it's just like a byproduct. But when you inject testosterone, it just comes just raw, just, just testosterone with another ester. So your uh, test epitest ratio will be way off and they'd be like, you're using, you're like, correct. You're like, why aren't you jacked? Like, I'm an idiot and I'm just using it. He tore is my hero. <laughs> He's jacked, so. <laughs> yeah, so like it's one of those things where basically like, the real deal is like, if you don't need the shit, don't use it. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be Superman, just take fucking steroid steroids. Yeah, you know, like, oh, then take a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Don't pussy out and do the whole thing. Uh, damn, that was not what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. That's the way that, <laughs> like, so what Dr. Mike is saying is just shoot for the moon, kids. <laughs> Get all the steroids you can together and just start eating them. Random yeah, pills. Fine, whatever. whatever pills, you know, your parents have in their closet. Just, uh, <laughs> whatever mom, like when mom has a sad day, she goes in the bathroom. Whatever the pills, and mix them together. That'll make you jack. Oh, for sure. Fingers crossed. Mom's fucking on that shit. <laughs> Does Xanax have anabolic properties? I don't know. That's what I want to know. Well, thank you so much for clearing that up because that's something I like. I've just always been super curious about. And I probably uh, won't take anything until I get tested and do it the right way, which is probably smart. I feel like McGruff the crime dog. I just talked you out of a life of drugs. Talked all of us. That's what's up. Take that, viewer. Is that camera on? I hope <laughs> yeah, it is. Right there. <laughs> the camera's right, right there. there. I'm like, take that, viewer. <laughs> that guy's dumb. Too many steroids. Yeah, thank you so much. And where can they find you? Oh, after the steroid talk, I don't really want to be found. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Dr. Mike is Rattel. Um, check it out. Check, check me out on YouTube. All right, see you guys next time.